Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Ben and welcome to the park. I know nothing about this game other than you play a mother who's lost her kid in a big theme park somewhere and you've got to go and find him. It's a psychological horror, that's all I know, so let's dive straight in. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. I think this is who we are. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay, so I'm going to look for Mr. Bear. I can't run. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Oh. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employee means prepare the park for shutdown. So it's closed and by the looks of it there's not many people left here. Press A to interact with objects in the world. Okay, so I guess we head to the information desk to ask about the whereabouts of Mr. Bear. Oh. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Hey! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. I know I told that kid to stay in the car. Disobedient little shit. Where's he gone? <laughs> right, through this one with the green light, I'm guessing is open. Press B to shout to Callum. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Catch me, mommy. No, I don't want to catch you. Come back. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. I think that must be the most profound thing anyone has ever said or thought whilst entering a theme park, ever. Oh my god, it's all going wrong. Callum! Wait for mommy, Callum! Where's he gone? Oh. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Okay, come back. It's not funny anymore. We'll leave the teddy. Leave it behind. Oh, God, this is looking eerie. Wait for mommy. Oh, God. The park. Oh, finally, I can what run. Happened here? You can't catch me. I can. Try me. Come here. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Stop running! I really can't catch him. That's a grown woman being outrun by a four-year-old. Come on! He's probably older than four, to be fair. Ooh. Oh, he's gone. I looked away for a second and he's gone. I lost him again. Crap. Uh, oh, there he is off in the distance. I'm never going to catch him. Do, do I go the way he went? I'm assuming that's what you do. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Over here. Where? where? Oh, examine shoe. Where are you? Come on, this way. I think this belongs to Callum. Okay. So I'm being outrun by a kid with one shoe. Great. Let's examine the plaque. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. That's a little bit creepy. Did he run in the loose? Into the women's loose? No. The 
The controls to look around are really quite sensitive. What was that? Definitely heard a sinister laugh there. Callum, stay where you are. Oh. Okay. Come on, mommy. Oh, don't go without me. Oh crap. Oh, too busy looking at the thing. Can I get on here, please? Like, did I even see him go this way, or am I just going for a ride? Well, it looks like we're going on this one, then. Oh, one's crashed there, look. Hope he wasn't on that one. Ooh. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. I'm familiar with they this story. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Oh, what will oh become it's his axe, it's fine. <laughs> the woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow oh. and abandon them there. I've crashed. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Look at the size of that chopper. Or starve, you fool. Sorry, feeling very childish today. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter oh. leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Hmm. Are we nearly done? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Well, this is great, but I'm still looking for my kids. Callum! I've told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, hang on a minute. What's going on now? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left Ooh, a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. Nauseating. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find I need a flashlight or something. Home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Mind you, it might ruin the shadow display, might it? <laughs> I can barely see anything in front of me. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. My house didn't want to get a second voiceover for that role. Emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? I think Stop going on the swan ride was a mistake. Stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. 
You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell was that? The old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel Oh, I'm having another episode. And put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. I wonder if this is nearly over. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb Spoiler the alert, by the way. And light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, "The opening is here," and she moved to show. And she Gretel. pushed her in. The end. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged. The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Bit of a grisly story, really. <laughs> and then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the what? old witch and ate her. Did they? I didn't know that was the end of that story. I'm going to have to look that up later. Did that really happen? I think a lot of these storybooks leave out the grisly detail. Quack. Holy shit. Um, I want to get off now. <laughs> and I didn't even get a glimpse of my son. It was all for nothing. I just got this terrifying swan. I want to get off! I want to get off the swan! Okay, um, where to now? Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. Poor children? The forest, the birds. Maniacs! The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Ooh, Hunger read leads handwritten people to note. desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. I wonder what this is. Okay, I'm not going to read notes in these games, as you know, but I'll, I'll leave that there for a second. If you want to pause it, you can read it. Okay. Examine plaque. Didn't they have a giant chipmunk on it before? Okay, so let's hope that thing hasn't come to life. It's the last thing I need. Okay, I've got a horrible feeling I've got to go in here. Harry Killian is Satan's whore. Okay. Right, well, uh, let's go in. Too dark. Yeah. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Good idea. Don't blame you at all. Far too dark. Um, got to find a flashlight then. I wonder if anyone at the reception might ever. A flashlight I can use. Uh, 
I guess I can't get back down here yet. No, it's all blocked off. Wonder what's over here. It's all locked up. Okay, so I can't find a torch. Can I steal one of these lanterns? Does that work? Callum, where are you? Okay, so I'm running around looking for a torch. I'm not really sure what to do next. I um, wonder if I should use one of my audio cues. Let's try that. Let's try and call him. Come out, sweetie. Wait, Callum. Catch me, mom. Oh. Don't hide from me, Callum. Is that helping? Am I getting further away? Oh. Another accident. This place. All oh, the maintenance vans crashed. <sighs> Things are getting a little bit funky. This is very creepy round here. Hello. <laughs> oh. that come back mother duck said quack 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 I'm gonna belt this kid if I find him <laughs> Callum stay where you are follow the, trail. follow the trail I think he said that might mean I'm going the right way Okay, well, we've done this one ride, so why not? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Okay, let's see if we can find that torch she was talking about, or flashlight. Okay, ride the Octotron. Let's do it. I can't get on while it's moving. Okay. Stop the Octotron. Uh, decrease speed. Do I have to hold that down? Okay. Hang on a minute though. How am I going to increase the speed when I'm in there? This is a two-man job. Okay, forget that. It's a minor detail. Although, how am I going to get off? Jump from the Octatron! Oh, getting a little bit fast. A little bit too fast, is it? Oh, yep. I think it's gonna break. Okay, seems to be slowing, it's all right. What was the point of this? I want to get off. I preferred this one.
At least I got a story with this one. Just got dizzy on this. Okay, so let's just um, play with it. Seeing as we're here, let's increase the speed. I wonder what happens if I just keep increasing the speed. Thing is, I can't look up while I'm increasing the speed. I can only do that, and that's it. No, that seems to be about as much as that's doing. I better stop there, otherwise the next instruction is going to be repair Octatron. Alright, let's go. Ooh, there's a Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, that's nice. Why is it there, though? Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Callum, where'd you go? Oh God! Oh, me. <laughs> oh my heart. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm out. Oh God. I'm gonna look for the torch in the next episode. I wasn't expecting that even for a second. Okay, I'm done. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, leave a comment down below, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. I need a torch. Bye!